I'm a linen scented soy candle, Sarah Fong. Pew, pew. So at the end of the last episode, we were knocked unconscious by Gunta and then thrown into his lab. We don't know why, we don't know what provoked him, and also apparently Himiko has a magic show tomorrow. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Right, so I think we're gonna have to talk to each and every person here. I couldn't stop Gunta, not even with my Neo Aikido. His power is far greater than my Neo Aikido. Okay. Say. What are Kokichi and Gunta's true aim gathering us all here together in this room? As I, I do not think Gunta would ever decide on his own to capture us. What is Kokichi trying to accomplish by taking advantage of Gonta's naivete? Regardless, I cannot forgive this nonchalant attitude about using people. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to talk to Kokichi. Specifically. Is this your no. doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gunta kid- Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gunta kidnap us? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who ate bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs or something like that. And so that's that why means... we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. What the fuck? Oh, Gonta thought up that name, so if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. That's terrible. You're terrible. You tricked Gonta. Isn't it great? Nice. Only an evil supreme leader would, like me could do something so evil. Kokichi, Kokichi. why are you doing this? Oh, I thought we could throw ourselves a little screening party with all our videos. Oh, shit. See? Shit. I hope so. That sounds like some drama I would jump headfirst into. With all of you here, exchanging our motive videos wouldn't be that difficult at all. And I want to see your videos, too, so I figured we could all binge watch them together. Please, wait! Do you know what will happen if you do that? Um, everyone will know their motive and a killing will be more likely to happen. But I like playing but... on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to crush it. I feel attacked. <laughs> How exciting! That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that mean? See? I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. Plus, if I'm gonna do this, then I gotta enjoy myself and go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win. Understand? Strange that I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. It was an in innocent smile, like a frolicking child. Although perhaps it's just another lie. Is this game getting even more meta? Hey! Thank you for waiting. I'm going to bring Himiko and Angie. What? Huh? Himiko and Angie too. Oh man, I was about to take a break too. I just finished all the prep work. Uh, What's the meaning of this? Himiko, are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster. Does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face and make it feel better? Jesus Christ, girl, dial it back to a six. Stop it. No. Hey. Hey, Gunta. Are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Oh. Mm. Kirumi at gym, but she tell Gunta she too busy. Hmm? And you just let her go. Atua says Kirumi monkey. fills any request someone makes of her, like a mommy. Hey. Uh, she's not a mom, though. Wait, what request? Uh... I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't even think Gunta can disturb her. Sorry. Sorry, not even Gunta strong enough to overcome Kirumi. Ow. Hmm. So we know she's very strong. Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Uh, we don't have Ryoma either, I don't think. Well, nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um. Oh, Gonta see Miu, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta could no bring her. Mm -hmm. Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on her trail, right? <sighs> no, um, she used what she call it, secret woman weapon, and then... Oh. Anyway, busy enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to smashing start. Maybe. Yeah, sure, this is good enough. We should move on to the main event anyway. 
Conta, don't be deceived. He just used you to abduct us all. <gasps> really? No, uh -huh. this is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Conta. Huh? Oh, more than Conta. Amazing. You like bugs that much? Oh, dear. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Hey, now, hey. Gunta, go ahead and teach them just how useful bug or just how wonderful bugs are. I gotta run an errand. I'll be back. Don't let them leave, okay? Oh, if they wow. try and leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great. Mm-hmm. Mm. Got it. Could it be? Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course, someone's gotta break into your rooms and get the goods. <laughs> My picking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like me. What? What? You're going to enter a girl's room without permission? If I must. It seems I must be the one to take care of this. With my talent, Kokichi, I will stop. You're so dumb. Yeah, yeah, I don't have time to listen to some robot. Let's mm. see, it's exactly 9 p.m. right now, so I should be back by nighttime. Isn't it already nighttime? Well, have fun with the bugs until then. Kokichi then left the classroom. It appears we are caught in Kokichi's trap. What should we do? What should we do? At this rate, it'll end up as a mode of video screen par screening party. <laughs> My Neo Aikido is no match for Gunta's superhuman strength either. Everyone. Either. <clears throat> we still have a chance when Kokichi comes back. That's when I will take care of this. Everyone, please just endure it until then. Huh? Endure it. Everyone, play nice! Okay. Now we start the fun, fun insect meet and greet. Learn me about all those insects, Gunta. I want to know. When I had first woken up, Kokichi told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. Oh no! Oh, look at him. He's cute. He's cute. The incredible specimens each gave off the appearance of vigor and vitality. And they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do was run around the room in a panic. Oh, I guess this is the nighttime announcement, probably. The nighttime announcement played, but it didn't save us. Oh, shit. The insect meet and greet continued without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us. He finally came back. Whoa! Ugh, there are bugs everywhere. How nest I mean how nice. Oh. Oh, you come back, Kokichi. Come, we have fun. We are gonna have so nice. much fun. You know, as much as I'd love to do that, maybe we should call it a day, huh? The bugs look really See. tired, and a gentleman knows to do things in moderation, you know? You're oh, right. I'm going to understand. So you clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kokichi's hands were full of several cubs pads. You guys ready? You all look drown like drowned sewer rats. Cuz you're late. You said you'd be back by nighttime, but it's already 11 p.m. now. My bad. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. I don't like this. Somebody's gonna be dead. But. But look. Cubs pads. <laughs> gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video. Oh, we said we don't want to. How well, it's exciting. late and I'm getting sleepy, so let's start already. Hey. Start what? Oh, don't worry about it, Gunta. Just keep watch so these guys don't. That's Messy it. Up. I won't let you do as you please. Mm -hmm. I didn't awesome. want to use this unless I absolutely had to. It eats up a lot of my electricity. But that's neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Huh? Kiba, what are you going to do?
Still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached a hand behind his ear. He's gonna erase them, isn't he? And spun the mechanical parts there. He's lighting up! Is he gonna self-destruct or... Huh? What's that sound? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. The tape? Right there. Uh, Kibo rewound and then pushed the palm against his ear. That's when... Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Was that... my voice? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them... Oh, he's gonna show Gonta that he tricked him. He started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. Interesting. So the voice recording mechanic will probably come back in the future, I'm thinking. Could this be... How about this? So what do you think? You just saw my audio recording function for the first time. What? Did he really just whip out an audio recorder like it's some kind of secret weapon? Actually, really? It's a cassette tape in this day and age. Huh? But but it's a metal tape, you know. The sound quality isn't the issue. Hmm? Let's just put this aside now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. Kokichi, what you mean? You not like bugs? Man, now it's boring. You say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was that lie? I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs, but from the bottom of my heart. Oh, so it not lie. Then got to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Who wants to pet more bugs? We must run while we still can. Wait, we need to take our cubs pads back first. Tango snatched the cubs pads from Kokichi. Then we all ran out of the lab. We're gonna get a body discovery announcement. Fucking telling you, that magic show is not gonna happen. After leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kokichi screaming. We might be corpses by tomorrow morning. It's plain to see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. Um. So, how do we return these cubs pads back to their rightful owners? Jeez. Mm, if only the mono cubs were here, I'm sure they'd help us. Ask and ye shall receive. Hmm. Oh, it's just you? The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. Um, um, it's about the cubs pads. Kokichi brought them to us and I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. So wait, I bet everybody's gonna each gonna get their own now. Oh, he left. Well, that was abrupt. But out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Well then. Shall we get back to our dorms? It is well past night time. <laughs> That's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. You're right. Because of all of this, we couldn't do a rehearsal. But I'm sure it'll be a divine show. Yeah. We'll be waiting for you to come watch. <laughs> we'll be waiting, she says. It's Himiko's show, not yours. Damn, she is in um, love with Himiko. I suppose it's alright. I just remembered, I wasn't able to train with Kaito today. Oh, he wasn't with us. Ah, uh, too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Stop saying that! He's definitely dead. Or no. <laughs> it's like pissing me off that the game is clearly telling me what's going to happen. Worn out from all the com commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our rooms. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow is a busy day. I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. I need a miracle. You pray, right? While you're working, living, and gambling. But miracles happen every day. 
For example, do you know what the odds are of the- what- do you know what the odds of the Earth's- For example, do you know what the odds of the Earth existing are? As a matter of fact, I do. Infinitesimal, as a matter of fact. Because I've been reading Bill Bryson's A Brief History About Everything. Just a small note. <laughs> On my end. The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. That's why us ble being alive on Earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as faith or destiny or, or whatever. Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Wow, that was actually good Monokuma advice. Not bad Monokuma advice. Hmm. One of these dudes is missing. It is now eight. <laughs> you scared me. This is the official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's eight a.m. So wake up. Oh, he left. Monosuke is so impatient. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. I don't like impatient men. I want to get along with Monosuke. Right. It's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. It'll be 10 p.m. later. Is he like manic? He's like drugging all of these bears. It's too early. Your impatience is trying to warp time and space. It's like drugging all of them slowly. Hmm. Today is the day of Himiko's magic show. But the insect fiasco yesterday and now this? Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? Well... Well, I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Off to the gym I go. Oh, I wonder if everybody's gonna show up. Mmm, Kaido's not gonna show up. Kaido's not gonna be there. Or he killed Sari. Kaito is either not there or he killed the person who isn't there. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's gonna be what happens. I know it. Trust, no bitch. Oh shit, is this the way to the gym? No. Gym is the other way, I think. I don't know any. I don't know how to. Still don't know how to get around this school. Uh, oh wait. I guess I have to. Hold on. It's grayed out because it's in a different area, I forgot, so I'm done. Alright. Yeah. At the end of this hall. This is a really big academy compared to the other games. You know, I kind of miss the weird uh, 2D style of Danganronpa 2. That was fun. Of like getting around some of the places. I liked that. All right, well, you're okay, and I'm happy about that, so that's good. Ryoma might be dead. He's the only other one. I think that wasn't there last night. What the fuck is this? Oh, right, the magic show is happening here today. Is that piranhas? Oh, this is even nicer than I thought it'd be. I don't see Kaito or Ryoma. Yeah. Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Himiko do all of this? No, no. 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 This would have been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. I bet you... Kirumi, I'm guessing? Oh, Kaito. Kaito and Kibo helped carry equipment from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kirumi sewed the, sewed the curtains. Aw, that's nice. Everyone is so nice. Ottawa deserves all the credit. Uh, no. Shouldn't everyone who worked on it get all the credit? Oh, oh well, I didn't ask you be to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. Damn. That's Roasted. Did you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. 
The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations? Oh. She's shaking like a leaf. Well, it looks very dangerous, but let's talk to Himiko and see. Could it be? Himiko, are you a bit nervous? J j just a bit. Certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because um, the magic I'll be performing today is um, extreme water magic, underwater escape act. I've um, never done it successfully before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Huh? You've never cast it before? Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. I'll be pureed. Pureed? Oh shit, is she gonna die? This is looking a little too dangerous. The water is cloudy, so I can't see clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Hmm. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, Wait, yeah. piranhas are way too dangerous. Ah, oh, <gasps> Tenko. Himiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. We no need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. You're going to huh? kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Himiko, are you serious? There's no way I can stop now. Since Atu is watching the show and all, there's no such thing as Atua! Angie has brainwashed you! What you that? don't believe in my magic? Well, I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. Of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Tenko. Okay. Yoo-hoo! Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> then let's get the show started! It's starting already, but not everyone is here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito. They're not here. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! Ha, 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 ha. I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! The I magic like your shoes. I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Uh, underwater escape act. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness. After the piranhas have fallen, I think this is cute. And the curtain is opened. If by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause. Just kidding. It's a joke. Are you feeling all right? I'm concerned about Himiko. She is not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Going to worry. Going to have bad feeling. Atua, please protect Himi. No! What am I doing praying to Atua? That's Angie's shtick. Oh. 
Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. <laughs> well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. There she goes. Okay, I'm closing the curtain. Oh shit, what's gonna happen here? Angie closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. We stared silently waiting. I clenched my fists nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. Well, do you think she's all right? Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come I don't understand. Out. There's nothing prevent sure her from getting okay? out. She just dropped into the water. Gonta can't take it anymore! Gonta cried out, leapt out of his seat, and... Wait, Gonta? Ran up onto the stage. Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! B but if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko! Huh? Um, less than ten seconds remain. Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? Look! The piranhas! H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! Got it! I'm opening it now! When Angie pulled the curtains apart, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. Fuck! Oh, man. It took him a few moments for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't even trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Oh, that sucks. I really liked him. Great, huh? <laughs> well, she did make it out. I'll give her that. Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Yeah. Body announcement. A body has been discovered! The only other person who wasn't here was Kaito and... Maki. And... Kokichi, right? I think those are the only three that aren't accounted for. Everyone, please gather in the gym. Yeah. A body in the gym. Then when Himiko turned to look back at the water tank. What a way to go. <sighs> Alright guys, I think that's it for this episode. We'll do the investigation in the next one. I'm really excited.
This has been Sarah Fong. I'll catch you guys later.